The PXM platform is in essence an identity in rollout solution. Therefore, the quality of the identity proof is crucial for highly secure operations. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, adds an extra level of verification to incoming identities. MFA generally works on the basis of something you know, something you have, or something about you. In version 6.1, there are improvements in the way that we work with multi-factor authentication. We've changed the options for each user or identity that can use the PXM platform. The authentication services can now be run in series. The extra options are local then radius and active directory then radius. This means that two completely independent methods of authentication can be applied to a single user's logon. As a quick reminder, we've not changed the single instance of a user paradigm. If a second Bob Jones logs in successfully, the first instance of Bob Jones will be disconnected. Let's do a quick demo and then have a look at what happens. Let's see what Alice Smith experiences on login. Here's the 6.1 PXM client. You'll see here there's an extra field for the token code. So here's the username and password, and now we see a six-digit Google Authenticator code being entered. Done. Alice is ready to work. Step by step, this is what happened. The username and password were sent to Active Directory and confirmed as valid credentials. The user is then held in a queue for login. Now the username and the token code are sent to the Radius server. That when the success message returns, the user queue is processed and Alice is logged in. In this example, we used Google Authenticator, provisioned in a free Radius server, running in a Docker container. Having multiple authentication services that you might need to do a little bit more work when authentication fails. The first point of call is the Assyrium external log. We've made some failed logins here earlier, and here's the error messages showing which authentication service rejected the user. We also have RAD test available for you on the command line, so you can troubleshoot external Radius servers and here's an example of a good followed by a bad token code. We still support the previous MFA methods as well. So that's multi-factor authentication, job done tick. And as usual, if you'd like to know more, please get in touch.